Alrighty, big fans, big tubers, so this is my review of the LEGO City uh, Flyer Helicopter set number 7206. It comes with three minifigures and two vehicles, and it's released in 2010. And yeah, so let's do it with the minifigures. So this is the Fire Chief right here, or the Fire Captain. And uh, what he's got here is his firefighting uniform. Same torso texture as the uh, previous old LEGO City fire sets, or firefighting sets. He's wearing his firefighter uniform. He's got his badge. And he's got his walkie-talkie. There's nothing in the back as well. His firefighter helmet is metallic sil silver. And uh, what he's got here is his beard on his, he's got a beard on his face. This reminds me that uh, he will retire after the years of working in the fire service, like anytime soon or something. And yeah, so let's do this volunteer firefighter or rookie firefighter right here. He looks young to me. I can tell because of his face and his glasses. He looks like a high school student or a 21 year old fireman right here. He's got a pair of glasses and he's wearing his rookie firefighter helmet and he's wearing the same torso texture as the uh, previous Lego City firefighter sets that have all the firefighters that have the torso textures like this one. And he's got his fire badge, his walkie talkie, there's nothing in the back as well. And yeah. So let's do the fire helicopter, fire copter pilot. So this is the fire copter pilot. He's wearing the same textures as these two right here. He's got his fire badge right here and his walkie talkie. Same torso texture. There's nothing in the back. His crash helmet or his firefighter copter pilot's helmet is like white and his visors are like transparent black and his face, he's got a smile on his face and this tells me that uh, he's ready to like, uh, he's like, or we could say that his face tells me that uh, He's well prepared to fly the chopper for any emergencies or any fire emergencies, that kind of stuff. Alrighty, let's do this fire jeep then. So this is the fire jeep. This reminds me of the, speaking of the this jeep, this reminds me of this fire, this reminds me of a fire Hummer jeep right here. I could say that this jeep it's pretty little detailed. It's all because of the headlights that are like uh, transparent yellow and transparent blue for emergency lights. They all shape like one by one round plates. And these gladiator grill pieces are looking detailed. Those bumpers are looking detailed by the. It's all because of the slope and the one by four plates. And yeah, the hood is pretty little detailed. And as you can see, it's got the fire department symbol or the logo or is this is a symbol or a logo. This represents that it, this Jeep is from the fire department. And yeah, it's got like a bit of a realistic doors. One on the left and one on the right. And what it's got here is it's like driver's seat. It's, it's got like um, a yellow steering wheel and uh, the GPS. I think firemen can use this GPS to track, to like find where the fires are in the forest, in the cities, but mostly in the f forests or beaches. They used it to, to fight fires and they use this Jeep to fight fires in the beaches or in forests. Just like other Lego City uh, fo forest fire vehicles and that kind of stuff. And what it's got is a pair of fire extinguishers for the firemen to put out small fires right here. As you can see, it's got its trunk for for the firemen to put other like firefighting equipment right here, which is like chainsaw, a fireman's axe, and the hose. Speaking of the hose, I'm missing the pieces and 
and uh, I'll list the items and hopefully I'll find these items right here. What I'm trying to say is, is that the firemen can place the uh, equipment such as the axe, fire extinguishers like these, chainsaws, walkie-talkies, and um, nozzles, and um, and rescue and other rescue equipment. So, as you can see, it's got a pair of uh, headlights that are transparent blue. It's pretty looking detailed. Speaking of detail, this reminds me of a roof that is built in detail. This reminds me of the, this still reminds me of the Hummer Jeep. Or the, yeah, this reminds me of a Hummer Jeep because of the wheels and the rims. And I would say that the bottom of this Jeep is pretty looking detail. What a nice fire truck right here. Let's do this fire copter then. So this is the fire helicopter. This reminds me of a Bell 222 series chopper. It's pretty looky detail. And still reminds me of that helicopter because of its texture and features that are right here. And uh, as you can see, let's do the front. And as you can see, it's got the cockpit right here. As you can see, it's got its like uh, a cockpit right here. And what it's got. There we go. Sorry about that. Let me just fix this. And there we go. Anyways, as you can see, it's got its like features of the cockpit of the chopper, and it's pretty looking detailed because of its joysticks and the control panels and flight level displays of the chopper. What you can do to the minifigure is that you can place this minifigure right here to this cockpit, and then the helicopter is ready for action. And on the left, right here, and on the left, right here, it's got its like water can to fight the fires in the forests and the beaches and that kind of stuff, and even the farm fields, just like in the commercial of the fire helicopter since 2010. It's got its seat, and what you can do is that you can place the uh, firefighter, the rookie firefighter, right here. And once you place this guy right here, he's ready to fight fires while flying. The left side is pretty looking detailed because of its, like, this feature right here. And the right side is looking detailed. Well, just to let you know, ladies and gentlemen, I'm missing this piece shaped like that one. As you, as you can see, it's got its hinges right here, which can also hold the firefighting equipment, such as the walkie-talkies walkie -talk, walkie and other rescue equipments. It's got a pair of propellers right here. And it's pretty looking detailed right here. And, it's, and it also reminds me of the Bell 222 series chopper as well. So because of the textures right here, the propellers and the yeah, and the engines right here, uh, I would say it's pretty looking realistic. So because of the Gladiator Girl pieces and the engine shape pieces, and yeah, that kind of stuff. And it's got tails, tails right here. It's pretty looking detailed, and just to let you know, ladies and gentlemen, I'm missing the uh, small corner shape piece right here. So I'm using this to replace the piece. Yeah, that kind of stuff. And I'm also, and also, I didn't get to do the uh, bucket because I'm probably, I'm, I'm probably missing the uh, pieces of that as well. 
And yeah, so that's the review of the LEGO City uh, Fire Helicopter. And I hopefully you like that video, so make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Hopefully to see you again in the 46th episode of the LEGO City Update Show. Brick fans.